my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, welcome back to another V2B vlog. I know I just did one and now I'm doing another one. Uh, you will find out shortly why. But if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can receive notifications for my future videos. Also, if you end up liking this video, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up. It really helps out my small channel. Also, if you've never seen one of my V2B vlogs before, basically in this vlog, I just talk about something that has changed from when I was vegetarian to vegan or my journey over to veganism or really anything under that umbrella. And I know I normally only do one a month. So it's like, Ashley, what are you doing? Why are you here? This is like not when you normally do them. And it isn't. But the reason that I'm doing one right now is because the holiday seasons are around and it's my first year as a vegan for many of those holidays. So I want to reserve my normally scheduled V2B vlogs for those topics. However, a long time ago, and I am just finally getting to it, Maggie and Mike, who are fellow YouTubers and have an amazing channel that you should definitely go check out. They are the cutest couple out there and I love their dogs and it is so awesome to watch every single one of their videos. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out their channel. But a while back, they asked me if I would actually do a video talking about bees and honey and veganism and what all of that looks like. So I thought that I would do an extra little V2B vlog to finally talk about it. Otherwise, I wouldn't get to it until 2019. And that's even further away. And I don't want to do that. So Today, you guys, I want to share with you my journey with honey. So for a really, really long time, I actually used honey just like everyone else. And I didn't think about it at all. And I used it when I was not a vegetarian, when I was a vegetarian. And then finally, I actually came across uh, Bee Free Honey, which I've done a video on them. And I talk a little bit more about it in that video. So if you want to see that, I'm going to leave it up in a little eye right there so you can go check it out. They are amazing. But I tried it when I was a vegetarian and I fell in love with their bee free honey. I absolutely fell in love with it. And from that moment on, I have not intentionally touched honey. And what I mean by that is at home, if we need honey, I used bee free honey. But if I was out and about, I, you know, didn't care. I didn't even give it a second glance. I didn't even look really to see if it had honey or not. So it wasn't for an ethical reason that I decided to stop having honey. It was just because I found something that I liked a lot better than regular honey. And the other thing is I've never been really obsessed with honey in my life, like ever. I've never had a huge craving or need to have honey. So it really wasn't hard to say goodbye to it even before I knew everything about honey. But now that I am vegan, I've had a lot of people who talk to me and they're surprised that honey is not vegan and they want to know why. Like, can you tell me specifics? What happens that honey isn't vegan? And for the longest time, I really had no clue what like happened when it came to honey. Now, when I became vegan, I knew right away I didn't want to do honey. I didn't want to do any bee products, but I didn't really know why. I just knew it wasn't good. And so I started doing some research early on. It's so hard to get a lot of information on honey. You can get a ton of information on commercially farmed bees, but anything outside of that, you really don't get a lot of information on. And the reason for that is because honey is such a taboo topic in the vegan community because uh, most vegans don't do honey, but there's a few that do honey. And I am definitely one of the vegans that has just never wanted to do honey. I've never seen a reason to do it. And especially after researching a little bit, I don't ever want to do it. <laughs> Uh, but there are some vegans out there who do honey. But because of this, it's such a heated taboo topic in the vegan community. And so no matter how many times I just wanted to get information, it was so hard to get out of people because the conversation was shut down and it was turned off. And like my vegan Facebook groups, it had to get turned off because it could turn into a really heated topic and we're trying to avoid that, which in all circles of life, I really don't like when people do that. I understand it. There's some really passionate people out there. And generally speaking, vegans are very passionate people. So I understand things can get heated, but like, I specifically, whenever I posted it, would be like, please do not get heated. I just want facts. I don't want any anything else because I just want to know what's happening so I can fully formulate my opinion. Like I knew I have people asking me these questions and none of you are helping me because it could become heated. And like granted, I'm not like angry at them or anything. It's just kind of frustrating because it's like, I want information. I want to know more and no one can talk to me about this because it's heated, it's taboo. And in every walk of life, I hate that. Like I'm a Christian and I hate Christian taboo topics. Like, no, let's talk about sex in the church. Like, let's talk about this stuff. <sighs> it always makes me so frustrated because it's things that we should talk about and we should know how to have a healthy discussion, debate, 
about these things without like wanting to kill the other person. So I really hate that this is like a taboo hot topic where no one's allowed to talk about it kind of thing. Like I really don't like that. I think it's just so counterproductive because then someone like me who was new to veganism and just wanted to know more about you know, anything outside of commercial farming bees, I couldn't get any information whatsoever because a few people would comment and I would get a few things here and there and then the conversation was shut down. Like no one was being aggressive, like everyone was being really friendly even if they didn't agree, but the conversation got shut down because it could get heated. So that has been something that's been really frustrating in my search for finding out more information. So definitely if you have more information than what I mentioned in this video, like feel free, please leave it in the comments below. But the best thing was that I was able to see a lot about commercial farmers, which oftentimes are a lot of the brands of honey that you are currently probably buying in your house. And you guys, it is disgusting what they do and I hate every little bit about it. And I am going to talk about it on my channel so if you're someone who's just not ready to hear all the horrible things that happen in that industry, I am actually going to put on the screen right now a time that you can jump to so you can skip past everything that I am about to tell you. Or if you just want to be able to look at it later, I am also going to leave links below in the description box so you can go check it out there. You can see how they phrased it, which is probably going to be way better than how I phrased it. And you're also going to get more information. I'm not going to mention everything in this video. I'm just going to mention the few things that really, really stood out to me. Feel free, go jump over to that time now if you are not interested in hearing any of this. And for those of you who stuck around, awesome. Uh, I'm going to tell you some of the things that really stuck out to me. Most of the time they will actually clip the wings of certain bees, such as the queen bee, because they don't want the queen bee to fly off, create another hive, and lose some of their productivity because, you know, a business equals money and you need to do crazy things in order to make sure you get your money. So they'll oftentimes clip the wings of the queen bees to ensure that their money is not going anywhere. They also uh, really kind of, I don't know how to phrase this you guys because it's really gross and it's a very hot topic in our current society, but oftentimes they will do certain practices that are essentially raping the queen bee to create more bees, um, which I think is just absolutely disgusting and absolutely horrible. Like let human nature do its thing. Let them just procreate as need. Like, ah, it's so frustrating. And one of the things that really, 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 really bothered me so much, especially because bees are becoming endangered. Like some companies will, as it gets closer to winter, actually burn down all of their bees and beehives. And the reason for this is because it's really expensive to keep everything up for the winter months when the bees are not pollinating, they're not getting anything from the bees. Like they just decide, okay, well it costs too much to, you know, feed all of these bees and to take care of these hives. So we're just gonna burn them all. Like that bothers me so much. Like we have such a problem and bees are dying all over the place and you're doing what? Because you can't take care of them? <sighs> bothers the crud out of me. So that one right there, like even without anything else, I would be totally against all commercial farmers when it comes to honey. Like, ah, it just really annoyed me and bothered me and made me really, really sad because like, these lives are just being killed off because you can't take care of them. And you guys, there's so much more and I'm not even mentioning everything. Those were just the ones that like really stood out to me and really bothered me. And as I was looking around, I was trying to find out things about, you know, uh, hobbyist honey farmers and stuff like that. And if you're a hobbyist farmer, hey, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you to be here and watch something like this. And also, um, I just want you to know I'm not personally attacking you. I am just sharing information. And that's really how all my B2B vlogs are. I'm sharing information that I've gained, how it has affected me. But ultimately, like, it's never a pointing fingers game. It's never, like, let me yell at you kind of game. It's more, let me share this information. And if that impacts you somehow, awesome. Um, you know, and I'm always willing to have a nice friendly debate in the comments below. If anyone ever gets too heated, I will first warn you and then if you do not step down, I will like delete your whole conversation. Only because like I don't allow hate on my channel, you guys. I think there's no point to it. It's absolutely horrible. Like I'm here to give information and you can do what you want with that information. Like it is your life, you get to decide what you wanna do. I wasn't able to find a lot about like hobbyist bee farmers or you know, honey farmers. And so I was like, okay, like I'm sure most of them do not do that. You know, I am sure that these are people who care about bees and they also are just trying to make a living by selling honey. That's probably it. So what's so bad about this? And 
This is the thing that I kept trying to find out, but everyone would shut down the conversation. But the few things that I did hear and that I absolutely agree with is that honey, you guys, is bee food. You know, they create it so that they can have nutritious food that will keep themselves healthy and will keep them, you know, full. And bees only make enough so that they can survive. They don't make a huge amount. So this is their food source. And we are essentially going in there, stealing their food. And you have to replace that with something. And so what we're doing is stealing their food and then basically giving them sugar water, which I think we can all tell is not very nutritious. And so we're taking all this nutritious food away from them and giving them stuff that's basically gonna give them, as my husband likes to say it, diabetes. Lol. And this is not healthy for them, you guys. Like it is one of the reasons that bees are dying off. Like obviously there's so much going on that we are doing to bees that is killing them off. But this is one of the reasons because we're stealing the food that is a healthy diet for them. They make that food because they know what they need. And then we take that away and we give them something that's just basically junk food. And for people who live off of junk food, it does shorten your life if that's all you eat. That's one of the things that I heard from someone before the conversation got shut down. And instantly I was like, okay, yes, I can get behind that. I totally agree. Even if you are taking care of your bees like crazy, but you're still stealing their food, it, to me, it's not okay. And so because of all that research, I have basically chosen that honey is not for me. I do not consider it vegan. I consider it exploiting bees and stealing from bees and using bees for our benefit when we really don't need honey. We really don't need it. There are so many amazing alternatives out there, such as the two companies that I've already reviewed on my channel. One of them, as I mentioned earlier, is Bee Free Honey, which I and then another one that I reviewed is actually Bumble Bloom. I'm gonna leave that review up in the eye if you wanna check that out as well. This is amazing. It's so good. They did such an amazing job at the consistency. It's crazy. But these are just like two options that you have. And there are so many other companies out there that do bee free honey. And then also there's agave nectar, there's maple syrup and coming from Minnesota, like maple syrup is like amazing and such a great alternative. And that's something I really wanna share with you guys. So if this is impacting you in any way, just know you don't need honey, you don't need it to survive. And if you're wondering like, but Ashley, there's so much nutrition in honey, what should we do? Great question. A lot of the bee free honeys that I have seen around are actually made with apples, which are also extremely nutritious. But if you're looking for pollen, the nutrition that you get from specifically pollen, Bee Free Honey is a great company to check out. No, this is not sponsored in any way. They have no clue I'm talking about this. This is just me talking about it. But they actually have a flower pollen infused bee free honey. So essentially what they do is they take bees completely out of the equation and they pull the pollen straight from the flower and then they create a bee free honey with it. So you are getting all the nutrition that you would get from the pollen, which I think is amazing and it's newer and I'm hoping to see a lot more of that popping up everywhere. But there are options that are not honey. So if you are someone that barely uses honey, I would just encourage you again, if something struck you, to really stop buying honey. There's no point to it. You can keep other things around your house that you can use for other jobs as well. You could even eat them by the spoonfuls. That's what I've been doing with my bee free honey and bubble bloom, just eating it by the spoonfuls. But I would really encourage you to check out some of the vegan honey brands, but also just like agave nectar. You can use that in so many different things. Maple syrup, you can put it on your pancakes. It'll work just as nicely. And there's so many things you can do. So really, if you are not attached at all to honey, I would highly recommend that you look into something different other than honey. If you're someone who loves honey, I would just encourage you to try out different things. You might be surprised at how amazing these other things are. And so I would just really encourage you to think a lot about this, especially because bees are becoming endangered and we need them, you guys. If we don't have them, we die. <laughs> I am again leaving a ton of links below to show you like why honey is not the greatest and so many other things for bees and also for the environment. I didn't really talk about that in my video, but some of the links below will talk about the environmental impact of honey. So you can definitely go down there and check it out. But also I'm gonna leave some links down below that just share with you some ways that we can help bees. And one of those ways would be if you find a beehive, do not call an exterminator, do not. Call a beekeeper, they will safely transport those bees somewhere else without having to kill them. And there are so many things like that down there, flowers that you can plant in your area that are really healthy for bees and really good for them. It will all be down in the comments below, so definitely feel free, go check that out because guys, we really should be helping bees. We need them so much. 
and we have been treating them horribly for so long. So I believe we really need to step up our game and really be helping bees out there. So definitely, please, please, please go check out those links below. So that has been my journey with honey, you guys. I do not miss it at all, by the way, because I have amazing products that are so yummy and so tasty and so great. So I think that's everything I got for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed this B2B vlog. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you agree with me? Did you not know any of this? Do you not agree with me at all and don't see why any of this is an issue? Like, feel free, comment below. Again, let's keep it healthy. Let's keep it nice. Uh, let's keep it friendly. If it's not heated, let's talk for hours. But leave your thoughts down below. And if you are new to my channel, again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can receive notifications for my future videos. And also make sure to give this a big old thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, feel free, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine with me. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.